Welcome to the class on reinforcement learning. Now we consider the expected update of Q values in view of the general notions of online update, batch update and expectation that we have seen in the previous video. In machine learning, parameters are called theta. In the specific case of function, fitting our parameters were A and B. Now, we considered Q learning in, for the case of the bandit problem, and here the parameters are Q. Here's again the update rule equation one. The change depends on the difference between the momentary reward at time t and my current estimate of the Q values. And then I had this statement if the expectation, expectation is over the next states, S prime and R, of the update rule one, if this expectation given as A vanishes, then my estimate Q hat as A has an expectation value, which is given by this formula here. If the fluctuation rate eta decreases, becomes very small, then fluctuations around the empirical mean the temporal mean q hat as a decrease and the empirical mean approaches q as a. So this is what we had and now, now we can consider proofs and for the proof we can even go one step further and, and, and make the following statement. It's actually not just the expectation that matters, but it's the Q hat itself that is equivalent to the real Q value. Which means I can drop the expectation sign in the result. The first time you see this, this might be a bit surprising. In other words, if the updates expectation, the expectation, expected update of this rule delta Q that we had in equation one is zero, then Q hat is the correct solution. Well, given what we have seen in the previous video, this should be clear now. Q hat is the parameter. Q hat is what I called the old parameter. And I take the expectation with fixed theta old. So during the expectation, Q hat is fixed. So the expectation of Q hat is Q hat. And that's this statement that may have been puzzling at first sight. So the expectation of an online rule is zero. This means it's zero. This is the expectation over what? Over all possible futures with correct statistical weight. So next states, next rewards. And we always start in the state as A while the system is frozen. Um, so Q hat is my old Q value and it's kept frozen. And the claim is I update using expectation over all possibilities that may occur in the next time step. And that's this perspective that's very similar to a batch mode. Update only after a very large number of samples. And these samples are the trials that all start in SA with the same frozen value Q old. So my expectation that I have here is the expectation of the reward minus Q old. Q old doesn't have any expectation, but the expectation of the reward is can be calculated as the limit of n to infinity, one over n um, over all samples generated as described with the momentary difference between the reward and the existing frozen current Q value. So this was part one of the theorem. I take expectation in an online setting, it's an online rule, the update rule, but I freeze the online update and then I play many trials or in other words I take the expectation over 
the next time step. Now, part two of the theorem is very different. Here we work with an online update rule as before. We use finite learning rate. And the claim now is this Q hat fluctuates around a mean, a temporal mean, which is this red expression here. So what do I mean by this? Well, Q hat in the first time step, maybe this value. In the second time step, it's this. In the third time step, it's this, and so forth. So sometimes we go up, sometimes we go down. And now the claim is that if, if these going up and going down is zero on average, in the temporal sense, ever, temporal average, then the mean is, this mean is the correct Q value. So now I can, this is really this temporal mean, which is the red line, the thin red line that I've drawn sort of by eye. This temporal mean is then the correct Q value. And this is an additional little calculation that I would like to perform here. So the claim is under this hypothesis. So what I need to do is I need to put averaging signs over this and then the averaging signs go on the right hand side. Remember this Q hat is now changing every time step. It's not frozen. It's changing every time step. So I cannot just assume that it doesn't change. But we know, according to the hypothesis, that the overall thing is zero. Now, if it's zero, then I don't care about the learning rate anymore. I can cut it out. And so I have zero equals the mean reward minus the mean Q hat. But the mean reward is by definition the Q value, the exact Q value. The Q value is defined by the expectation over the rewards. And that means that this average Q hat, the average of Q hat, even though Q hat is fluctuating, this average Q hat is the correct Q value. And so here, the temporal mean is the correct value. Why? Because this update rule one is symmetric. If my Q value is a bit too high, I go down. If it's a bit too low, by the same amount, I go up. And the change is always proportional to eta, so it, all these uh, things will average out, and the, state, the, the only possible value with zero solution is the one defined here, which is the correct Q value. So let's summarize this whole chapter on one step horizon. The Q value is the expected reward for a given state action pair. So it's this state action pair, say. And uh, if the Q value is known, the choice of action is simple. Well, if the Q value is biggest for this branch, then this is one, this is the one I should choose. But if the Q value is not known, then we have to estimate Q hat by trial and error. And we update with this update rule one. And we let the learning rate eta degrees over time. And the claims are that this iterative algorithm will always fluctuate for finite eta, but in some sense, the expectation of the update step is good. It's going in the right direction for small eta. Now, here I've always drawn a single state S. Of course, there could be several different starting states uh, where you can take the same type of different actions, but uh, the transition probabilities can also depend on which starting state you come from.